Hi everybody, and welcome back to RPO at Home. Thank you for your continued support and your enthusiasm and interest in all of our online videos. We hope that these are in some way managing to fill the void of live music for you during these challenging times. I'm Jonathan Ailing, co-principal cello of the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, and this is part two of my video diary of my learning process of Bach's fifth solo cello suite in C minor. The first movement, the prelude, is by far the longest of all the preludes that Bach wrote for the solo cello. And it's in the form of a French overture, so that it has a slow, stately introduction, which I played last time, and that is then followed by a more lively, extended uh, section. In all of Bach's writing for solo instruments, he manages to create the idea of multi-textured music. But here he takes it one step further and creates the impression almost of a fugue, so that we have, if you think of a round where somebody sings the first part of a, of a melody and then carries that on and somebody else joins in with that original uh, fragment, we have that idea here, but on a single line instrument. So we start with this melodic fragment. That then is developed and carried on. And then later on, the same melody comes in in a higher register. And that is then carried on. And we, he manages to create the idea that both voices are carrying on at the same time until later on we have... of the same thing and hopefully you hear this idea he manages to to trick us into thinking we're hearing all three or four voices carrying on at the same time even though there's only one 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 of me so there are many other amazing points in this uh, in this movement uh, sometimes he manages to hide that theme in a string of fast notes and you have to listen carefully so that you might have... Uh, so we have to listen out for it. And by the time he gets to the end of the movement, this uh, seemingly simple subject has taken on almost monumental proportions across uh, a much greater range of the instrument and we end up with and right at the end of the piece the whole thing having been as i say in c minor so very dark he chooses to finish the whole uh, prelude after this quite epic journey with a major chord so that instead of that we finish with as if there's some sort of light at the end of, uh, of this tunnel. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Keep safe, stay well, and I look forward to seeing you soon, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you. 